Here's a beginner birdhouse painting idea. It could be any design you want, but I did mine for 4th of July. I'm gonna take my mop brush with some light blue and white and just do back and forth strokes on my canvas for a sky and then dry that really good. Now taking a flat brush, I'm gonna use white paint as a base. I'm going to paint the start of my birdhouses by making three different types of rectangles. They're all gonna be different heights. My middle one, I'm gonna do kind of a curved rectangle. The sides are gonna curve in a little bit. And this right one is just gonna be another rectangle, but again, a different height from the other two. There we go. Once you have your rectangles, fill them in with a solid color. I'm doing white as a base because I want to decorate them. And we can't forget to add a roof. So I'm just gonna like start with a dot just above it in the middle and then connect the sides so I can fill it in like a triangle. This is just the base shape of my birdhouses. And then once you have the shapes, you can dry them and decorate. Now, again, you can decorate them in whatever style you want. I'm going to decorate them for 4th of July. So this right one, I'm doing red stripes to look like a flag. And then on the left, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a solid blue. And in the middle, I'm going to decorate it to tie the two together. So with a detail brush, I'm going to do a red star at the top. And let's do a blue stripe near the top and near the bottom as well. Mostly white, so we have red, white, and blue. Perfect. Now we can't have floating birdhouses, so I'm gonna take my flat brush and just do one solid stroke of dark brown coming down from the middle of each. So they're standing on something. They kind of remind me of rockets or popsicles, but I guess that's okay for 4th of July. And don't forget to dry brush on a little bit of tan as well after you do the dark brown. That gives it a little bit of a 3D wood effect. Now let's make them look like houses by taking a round brush and some black paint. I'm going to outline my roof and the base of each of my bird houses. Notice how the black lines come out from the edge of each on either side so that you get the illusion of the roof and the base. And then we can't have a birdhouse without the holes for them to get in. So I'm just gonna use my pouncer sponges, press down and twist anywhere you want there to be a birdhouse hole. So I'm gonna do two on the left one, I did one on the right, and in the middle I'll do a small one like that. So I used three different sizes. To give the illusion of depth, what you can do is take a detail brush with a little bit of white and then blend it in with black. So really just some gray around the left side. It looks like you're giving a C shape to the hole, but that's gonna make it look like it goes inward a little bit and a little less flat. It's up to you how much detail you do as always. We're going pretty simple today. And I always like to take my detail brush and add little white highlights to the roof. There we go. Also, I know there's gonna be some people say you need the little uh, stick coming out for the birds to sit on. So I'm gonna do little dots of brown under each of the holes. And then taking my round brush, I'm going to add some grass. We're gonna do simple grass, just doing upward strokes. Now the whole reason why I wanted to try this painting wasn't just for 4th of July, but I wanted to try something somebody mentioned the other day that a lot of people like grass, but they struggle doing the stroke, doing upwards motions. So one thing you can do is turn your painting upside down. So instead of doing upward strokes, you can do downward strokes. And I've heard from some people that it's easier to get the points on your grass if you do it this way. Now, to me, it messes with my brain. I'll tell you, it took me a little bit to get used to it. But once you get the hang of it, you can still do your grass. Make sure you're doing all different heights. Make sure they're kind of crossing over each other a little bit so they're not all perfectly straight. Try it. If you struggle with getting points to your grass, just turn your painting upside down and it may help you. So I'm gonna turn it right side up. There we go. Oh, that's cute. We're just missing some birds. So I'm gonna use my Sharpie and add three little birds in different areas. That's up to you. And there's an easy birdhouse painting idea. Hope you all enjoy the holiday weekend. Let me know what you think of that grass painting technique. And I can't wait to see all the different birdhouse designs you come up with. Have fun and happy painting.